oh gosh she's going on a rampage this is the first time we are going to be able to use our containment cell oh gosh oh gosh she's wilding in there she's putting the pea stick in are we preggies or are we not episode of our wealth series we are back in the beautiful household of the seymours or like howls because we just got this whole new man in our household and the last episode was also left in a cliffhanger in the last episode we were completely satisfied from spectacular woohooing so this man is experienced he knows what he's doing and we are about to take a pregnancy test and maybe maybe not we are going to introduce some pups into this world let's find out oh she's putting the pea stick in are we preggies or are we not oh <gasps> eating for two luna is pregnant unwanted pregnancy she actually has the does not want a child right now luna did not expect this pregnancy and is really not sure that she wants it at home but it's happening what should she do and the second trimester is in 24 hours so this is our first day in our rundown apartment in the last episode we discovered that we have a lot of work these pipes are annoying me now they are annoying me i know they're meant to be aesthetically pleasing but i am not here for it but in the last episode we discovered that we have a lot of work to do we have a bunch of work to do so i'm gonna get go to bed and i'm gonna get lou to go hunting but in the last episode we got beat up by an 80 year old woman yes yes we did we got beat up by an 80 year old woman we also got beat up by a human janae Janae. So things are not going too well. And also in the last episode, we had oh, Lou has work. But in the last episode, we also got a notification that we are not like doing our full contribution to the pack. So we need to give plenty of pack mates in this episode. I'm gonna try to do our best. And she hasn't actually I mean he was in the room when she did the pregnancy test, but she hasn't actually told him. And he also has does not want a child right now. So it's gonna be hard, but at the same time, I kinda wanna know. I've not really explored that part of the mod, so I kinda wanna know how it goes. He's actually supposed to go to work. I'm gonna check what he has to do for work and I will get him on his way prepare food you can actually prepare food we have little money we have 58 actually but let's do a bit of cooking let's make maybe rice cakes actually let's make rice cake oh okay he's already going to work babes i don't think you should be going in your she's like goodbye i don't think he should be going in his werewolf form i'm not sure how his co-workers and the customers of that restaurant are gonna take it but she is now about to go into full-on fury because she is hungry so i'm gonna get her to hunt for food Ooh, and it's almost winter fast winter fast is tomorrow but babes why don't you go hunt for food i think that's gonna help calm down a bit not me totally forgetting that we have bills to pay so we have 24 hours to pay our bill before our water is shut off and our power is also about to be shut off so that is not great that is not great what are our bills we have a thousand simoleons that is a lot so i'm gonna ask have to ask you to work hard so you can get us a bunch of money and what's her name i've forgotten her whole name luna luna actually has an what is it called ability point so I'm going to get a new ability. I'm going to get territory marking because as part of our aspiration, we need to like dominate the world. I'm going to get that. I'm not really sure how it works, but we will see. So can she just like, oh, she can mark this as a territory. I think we're going to be doing that immediately. She comes back from hunting, but let's just leave her to do a bit of hunting. Okay, Luna has returned with some fresh meat that she found. I also noticed that she has a bump. While she wolfs down her meat, the mod actually comes with like being able to get over the fact that they're gonna get a child. So I'm gonna try to do that. Refuse to make... Ooh, we can make peace with pregnancy. She needs to engage in more activities and conversations that may help her accept the situation better. So maybe we need to go to some parenthood classes. Maybe we can buy something for upcoming baby we shall see she's still going to get a rampage this episode unfortunately but let's just get sort some of her needs out she's having herself a little sleep in the bathtub and she's going to wake up in a full on rampage and i am totally not ready for that i'm not in the mood the beast is beckoning and she's once again she's Ooh, christopher i've been thinking about getting to know maike has better as a friend Do you Babes, I think you should go for it. Your relationships are quite none of my business, but... And also, in the last episode, Rory actually asked us to become best friends. Yes, we are best friends now. I don't know what that is about. Maybe she has a plan, but we actually agreed to that. And maybe we can turn it in our favor. But she's feeling sad, not ready for this. 
Sometimes the torturous nature of being pregnant at a time when you don't want a child hits you like a train. And the bath is not even helping her out because she, her tense mood is going up like no man's business. She has itching in her pub. Oh gosh. She's going on a rampage. The pregnancy plus the hunger. Yeah, she's on a rampage now. And we just got this new house and she's going to smash everything. Babes, this is the first time we are going to be able to use our containment cell. And she's going into the feral containment unit. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That was a cool animation. Ooh. She's wilding in there. It's kind of hard to see because we don't have light. We probably can't pay our bills anytime soon because we are not good in our money situation. What? Wow, that sounds horrible. So I'm just gonna move away from that. Okay, I've just gotten the notification that we have work in an hour and our rampage is going to last two hours. So I'm not sure how that is going to work. I mean, throughout this series, we have never had a full day of work because we always have rampages. And it seems like the trend is going on. We are not even trying to stop at this point. I just got the notification that they have bought acquired crab lice. And I think that's from Woohoo in the Bush. But he also swiped an object while at work. And that kind of reminded me that he actually has the kleptomaniac trait, just like us. So that is quite cool, kind of. I mean, you shouldn't be swiping things from work. But I'm gonna plant that. He got, brought us a lemon. I'm gonna plant that. And I'm also going to get him to bed because he's quite tired. It was probably a very stressful day, considering the fact that he went to work in his werewolf form. So, yeah, there is that. He had a boring day at work, actually. Work was work, another boring day doing boring things. So maybe he's not really interested interested in this and maybe we get him another job we will see to that later in the episode but we are still having our rampage and we have work like we have work right now actually okay i think she's done yeah she's back from our rampage and she's feeling really sad i'm gonna return her into normal let's go to work i mean there's no reason why we can't i'm just gonna get her to work hopefully we can have a full-on work day without losing our temper Okay, so Lou is about to have a rampage. He is fuming red. And I just took the time. I want to check out his temperament. He has Night Wolf. They prefer sleeping during the day. And gain fury when deviating from a nocturnal sleep cycle. And he also has Grumpy Wolf. They might need a little extra rest in order to stay balanced. Just don't poke a sleeping wolf. So he practically enjoys his sleep. He also has four ability points. Which I think we will make very good use of. We have Somber, Somber Howl. I think we go for that. That is quite useful. And then the wheel to resist. Regain control while rampaging. I think maybe we go that one. And then enhanced smell. Yes, that would be good because we need a bunch more treasures. Lou was about to have a full-on rampage. Babes, you just broke the toilet that you were about to use. He's about to pee himself. I mean, if you're a werewolf, that doesn't sound so bad. That doesn't actually sound so bad. But tonight, I'm actually going to break the news about the pregnancy to him. I'm going to see how he reacts. And she swept an object while she was at work. This is the first time that Luna is actually going to be finishing a day of work. She got us 63 simoleons. And she's having a whip. She's having a mood swing again. She's very tired, actually. But then I think we go over to him and announce unwanted pregnancy. There it is. Let's announce the unwanted pregnancy it's gonna be hard for him to take it in but he's about to literally pee himself so yeah okay she's doing it it is time oh he's devastated they are both very sad but i'm gonna get her to bed then i'm gonna see how he thinks about that babes you are stinky go bathe like a beast while she goes to bed i want to try and see if we can like overcome like their feelings towards the pregnancy but it doesn't seem that's likely to happen because we are almost in our second trimester the pregnancy is going to be over before we even know it he's fuming forget about hunt oh my gosh forget about hunting go and take a bath you Stinky child. But how does he feel about the pregnancy? An unwanted pregnancy. What will Lou and his partner do? They did not plan to have a baby and they don't want this pregnancy to be. But it's a little late to think that way now. And he didn't even fix the toilet. He's going through a lot and he's also not enjoying his work. And I think maybe that's the first step we take. I'm gonna switch his job because part of his talents, he is a natural born comedian. And I think that's gonna be a great job for him. He seems like a very goofy type. So I'm gonna get him on the how are his mission? 
Wow, we can't even get a job. Congratulations onto us. Congratulations. They are having sweet color times. Very cute. Apart from the fact that he looks like a dog and she is still in a human form, but we will not pay attention to that. But he's very angry. Daytime is for sleeping. My sleep schedule is all wrong. Nice time is the wolf's time. He actually wants to be up and running. Wow. He's furious. She's having a good time sleep. I'm actually surprised that she hasn't gone on a rampage. Oh, you're hungry too. Babes, why don't you go hunt for food? A few moments later. Oh no. Rampaging. Oh, don't scratch the foot. Don't scratch the furniture. Wow. I couldn't stop him. Okay, it's actually the raw meat that's spoiled. But we don't have enough money to pay our bills. But today is Winterfest, so maybe we focus on that and maybe we can get some presents from Santa, which may help us actually pay our bills, hopefully. Okay, he's having his little enraging, he's containing himself. That's good. I feel like he's gonna be a great father, even though he doesn't want the child. Things are not going well, we still have to celebrate Christmas, right? So I'm gonna buy a Christmas tree. I'm gonna put it outside because inside is just very glum. That was quite an expensive tree and we can't even like decorate it because they are so uncomfortable and he's still having his rampage downstairs. We also need money for our crab lice situation. Oh god. The toilet is right there. It's right there. We have our Christmas tree and she's feeling really sad because she just went into our second trimester. This pregnancy is not getting any better. There is still time to make a difficult decision, but Luna is just not sure. No matter what she does, the damage is done and there will be no going back from this. Life is permanently altered. She's not getting better. She's still feeling very terrible, but there are some options we could try. We could like do things relating to the baby we can go buy some it may make her feel better but for the fact that her partner also doesn't want the child it may make things a bit hard so we shall see we shall see she just went ahead and she bought something for the baby she bought some toys but lou is actually out and he's getting himself some peas he's also not feeling well actually he's hungry his hygiene is low his fun is low we need to do something fun so let's get into the christmas spirit let's decorate decorate with garland i don't know maybe blue and white let's decorate the christmas tree okay let's try to have some happy feelings she's quite tired actually and she's about to go on her own rampage let's try our best to not be let down by whatever is going on let's decorate the tree together but she's feeling very extremely sad and getting closer to the third trimester is not helping out let's actually try out some of the new options that came with the relationship pregnancy overhaul. Offer to go to early parenthood class. Offer to go to counseling. Maybe we should do that. So are we going to parenthood class now? Let me see. Okay, we can't actually afford to go for the classes. That's why. Let's um organize to provide for the baby. Everything is going to be fine. I feel like even though he doesn't want the child, he's going to be the best he can. He's going to try as much as he can to be very supportive. So I think they are feeling better about the child now that they're having a talk about it. Let's keep on decorating. Babes, you're thinking about woohoos when you just got an unwanted child. I don't think that is ideal at this moment in time. So they have been having some chatting about the child and she's not taking it very well, but he seems to be more on the good side. I mean, he's not like fully on board, but he, I think he is way more on board than she is. So I'm actually going to get her to go to bed because she's very tired. And then maybe we can raise some money with Lou. He's like, moods are like fine. I think I want him to scavenge the ground. He has the enhanced smell, so he should be able to like scavenge for treasures. We can also plant this, which is going to get us some money. And maybe things aren't going to end up so bad at the end of the day, hopefully. Maybe Santa Claus is going to come up and maybe we're going to get some expensive gift. The pregnancy has taken its toll on us. So I'm going to do a bit of smelling and a bit of scavenging. And we're just going to see what we find at this point. Do we have anything in our inventory we should sell? You have a bunch of things actually. Babes, I don't think you really need these. Let's sell this and this sell those i want to keep the figurines so i'm gonna keep those but we have two of these so let's sell that and sell this one wait what is it sad 
sell it goodbye god bless that is not even close to paying our bills but that is all we have for now so i'm just gonna grind with lou and see how much figurines we come up with and i will catch you guys when i'm done later that same evening okay um i was like trying to find figurines and i think it actually forms a kind of it babes like can you not it forms a kind of image over here you can see like everything goes into place and we are almost done with that but then i got the wild fangs notice luna is on pack probation it's become clear to the leader that warnings alone aren't enough to keep her in line with the pack's values luna must resolve all current value warnings if she wants to avoid further discipline check the werewolf packs panel to see which pack value she needs addressed oh god she's furious she's going on a rampage right now right now we were not doing well in pack participation in the last episode and now we're not doing well with expand and explore and i think i already got the the ability for mark territory so we're gonna do a bunch of that and then the extra figurines we get we're gonna like give them to the pack i feel so bad for them like things are not going well for them and every immediately they like moved in together everything went downhill from there but babes we actually need more i'm sorry you're gonna have to do a little more scavenging because we already have one of these so we can sell that so let's sell that because we need money for our bills unfortunately she's pee i felt like i was like violating a whole thing but she was just peeing and i think that's actually part of the wealth world domination so maybe we do a bunch of those actually come here and mark your territory babes mark your territory everywhere so that is not much but we're trying we're trying we also have this wolf's bane so let's harvest those she's gotten over her rampage and now she's just really really sad maybe we should sing together let me just have some christmas vibe let's sing some boar sims vibe i don't know what that says actually Ooh, rory's around we can sing with her but i think we need to actually be big brain about this let's put in some lot trays that's going to reduce our bills and there are no actual like lot trays that came with the werewolf pack so not much we can do there if you go eco lot no geothermal utility bills yes we need that we also need natural well and i guess great soil since we want to like start planting stuff and have our bills actually reduced yes they have 157 we can pay the bills finally okay they're not they're not interested in singing actually let's go upstairs babes you have been craving a bath water has been shot oh gosh the stupid conservation thing and our fridge is also apparently broken nothing is going right but today is christmas let's have let's have a bit of christmas spirit okay should we open our present we probably should let's open our present with luna <gasps> santa santa's here so we can ask him for gifts hopefully he gives us like expensive gifts and not like stuff you know so i'm gonna introduce myself to santa and ask him for a gift announce unwanted pregnancy let's make him pity us let's tell him how sad we are we got a toy quiz Ooh, funny introduction lucky man folded laundry what is that that doesn't sound too nice do we send to jeweler for refinements or do we send it to the geo council i feel like we should do that father winter is he's really empathizing with us Ooh, and lou has gone hunting lou is quite tired he's been working throughout today to try and make things a bit better but let's ask father winter for some gift and for some reason he doesn't like us actually ask for presents oh my gosh we we are not doing well that one has Ooh, he gave us a present what did we get a gnome sports soccer ball great i'm actually going to sell that sorry father winter narcissist nightmare what's this feeling you're all supposed to like me start liking me already she's quite sad that father winter doesn't like her but we actually need we actually need to um, like contribute to the pack so i'm gonna invite rory to come hang out and then we can give her some of our things maybe food her vegetables collectibles or book okay, so that's what we need we have food we have picking raw meat you can have all the raw meat you want actually i think we should give her one of our artifacts we have a bunch so losing one shouldn't be a problem okay give rory a pack made gift the mission Mishaputo, 
Mesopotamian tablets. Cow plant taming. Let's give her that. But hopefully this gets us back out of pack probation. Okay, now we only have... We are out of the red. We are now in the yellow. So we probably need more. What else can we do to like enable pack participation? Maintain good relationships. Contribute to pack resources at the hangout. So it's more or less just giving them things. Maybe we can give that a bit later. Or maybe we can contribute our meat to the resources. And Lou hasn't actually asked Father Winter for a present. So I'm going to do that real quick. Let's introduce ourselves to him. Wildfang's notice. He also hasn't been participating. Oh my gosh. He's a Delta, by the way. He's able to pack mentor and discipline his Omega rank pack mates. Keep living by the pack values and he will move up in the hierarchy in no time. So he can actually mentor her. That's great. She's gone to bed. She's very tired. And we are going to be in our third trimester in nine hours. This has been a very sad episode. Very, very sad episode. Okay, what are we gonna get? Please give us something expensive. No offense. Ooh. A karaoke machine. That should cost a lot of money, right? Let's go immediately and sell that because we need the money way more than we need the present. Father Winter gave us clothes. Sell that. That's a thousand small and sell that too. We should be able to afford the early parenthood classes. So Christmas has been low-key good. More on the terrible side, but it has had its good times. But for now, things are not going so well. Fortunately for us, Father Winter came over and he has provided the funding that we will be using for our parenthood classes and counseling. Ever since we moved in together, things have been going downhill. I do not know what that means for that relationship. But next episode, we're probably going to have a baby on the way. So they're going to have to get things together before the next episode. That is all for today. This has been a very depressing episode. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe. And while you're in the clicky mode, consider following my socials on screen or in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. Good damn bye.